Okay, so we're trying something new today because um, <laughs> someone commented on one of my videos and said, I love your videos, but they're really, really quiet. And I was aware they were quiet and I've been checking on the iPad, looking at my settings, trying to work out what was going on. And I have to admit to being a bit of a noob with the whole iPad situation because I am an... Uh, I'm not an Apple girl, I'm a Microsoft and Android girl and I only have this iPad because my mum bought it for me during the lockdowns so we could all use FaceTime because my whole family apart from me are all Apple people. <laughs> so I was the only one who wasn't using Apples, I was the only one who couldn't use FaceTime so I think she just got fed up of it and she sent me an iPad and I basically use it for this nowadays this is what I'm just using it for um so I I thought I had it the right way around I thought I was speaking towards the microphone and now I think maybe I was wrong um so I th hope that turning it around 360 so it's like or 190 degrees actually I should say um will mean that my voice is a little bit louder, hopefully. Unfortunately, it's probably also picking up my fan because my flat is ridiculously hot today. It's like 27 degrees here. It's, it's like literally in my flat, it's like 27 degrees. So it's boiling and I, ugh, I can't have all my windows open because my neighbors are out there making loads of noise. Anyway, this is what I wore this week. A mixed bag of things and, uh, some new stuff so this is the first new one this is Yardley mm -hmm. London and this is called uh, let me just make sure I get this right this is Rosie Ruby I always want to call it Ru Ruby Rosie or I get it mixed up I have actually made a little haul video for when I got this but then I, I ended up wearing it <laughs> before any of that happened just have a quick sniff now I didn't know what the notes were when I bought this because for Grantica have the notes wrong. <laughs> what they've done is they've put up the notes for one of the other perfumes in this range. And I did think it was really unusual that there'd be two completely different perfumes from the same house that had identical notes. I did think that would be insane. But anyway, so I had to search for the notes. I found the notes. I've actually put these up as a, as a comment in for Grantica as well. So... The notes on the back of the box for this one are top notes of mandarin, pear, peach and cassis, combining floral heart of peony, rose, orange flower and pink pepper with a central woody base. Now, as I said, I didn't know the notes, or at least I had the wrong notes when I got this, this perfume. So although I do think it's really pretty, when I wore it for a whole day, it was just... There was something about that mixture of peach and rose, which I always really struggle with. Like, I struggle with peach generally. I'm really fussy about rose. <laughs> and if it's quite sweet, it's a struggle for me. And it's annoying because in the bottle, I really like this smell. I really like this perfume. I think it's really nice. It lasts way longer than any of the other Yardleys that I've smelt. In Well, not necessarily other ones in this range, but certainly other ones in their regular kind of floral range. Um, this is an, I love the bottle. It's one of the reasons I, I was drawn to it is because I just love this bottle. I think it's really cute. But, um, I haven't decided if I'm keeping this one or not. It might be that I have to pass it on just because I think I've probably got other kind of pink smelling perfumes that I prefer to this. And actually the day after I wore this, I wore another perfume that I think smells pink and I absolutely loved it. So I'm kind of like, okay, well, uh, because this one is, this is a fruity floral. It, I can't, it's not super woody. It's really, really pretty. But it just, you know, I, I'm not sure it suits me. I'm not, I, I'm not sure it feels like me. And I think that's the peach and rose combination. And then, of course, you've got peony, which, which sometimes I struggle with anyway. So I'm thinking about this one at the moment. But um, if you don't have a problem with rose and peach combos, then it's a really nice perfume. And it was like, again, that's from like Di Direct Cosmetics. And it was maybe... Uh, I think it was like five or six pounds, so an absolute bargain. So next up on the list, oh, so I I think I finally put up my review of this one, and it's it was in my shampoo perfumes as well. Now, I I said in that in my original review of this that uh, which I think I did in maybe it would have been like the end of winter, beginning of spring, I think when I filmed that. 
and I said I'd try it again in summer and see if I liked it and I really liked it. This is so good in summer. This is Justin B with a key and oh it smells so pink. It smells super pink and I and when I wore this in colder weather I found it very shampooy in a way that was slightly uncomfortable for me and then Oh my goodness. I mean, I just literally, I loved it. I loved it when I wore it at the weekend. It was just so sweet and tasty. It was ever so slightly shampooy, but nowhere near as much because I feel like the fruits just came out so much more dominantly when my skin was hot. And I just, I'm, yeah, I, I can absolutely now see why everyone loves this perfume so much. I think it's lovely. So the notes in this, the top notes are pear, boysenberry, mandarin orange and osmanthus. The middle notes are peach, water lily and pink jasmine. The base notes are musk, vanilla, raspberry and woody notes. And so in the hot weather, I get less of the florals. I get way more bo boysenberry and pear. I, then I get, it's definitely musky. I get a bit of that um, vanilla, but it's not, it's such a good vanilla, this one, because it's very subtle. It makes it sweet, but it's not like... It's not one that makes me feel a bit sick, which happens with a lot of fruity florals that also have vanilla in. Um, it's not very woody, but the raspberry really comes out in the base and I love raspberry and perfume. So I'm just, I'm super stoked about this because it's basically to me a quite berry centric, slightly vanilla, bright summery perfume. Like I just loved it and I felt so girly in it in a great way. Um, and I just, oh, I just think it's delicious. I've, I, yeah, I'm really glad I gave this one another chance because I thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. And I think it's become one of my favorite fruity pink kind of girly perfumes, you know? Okay. So then I'm putting this one in cause I wore this quite a few times, uh, for nighttime. This is skin musk perfume oil. It's by perfume de Coeur. And this is, I think the first the first video I ever put up on YouTube was about Skin Musk. I still love it. I stand by everything I said in that video. It's one of my favourite perfumes of all time. I should have a quick whiff. Oh my God. There's never a time when this isn't perfect. It's like, it's like the green tea of musks. There is never a time when this is going to upset people. There's never a time where it's going to be too much. It's just, it's just perfection. It is a heavenly bar soapy creamy sweet comforting fluffy musky perfume and I love wearing it to bed and so sometimes if I just want to feel really kind of snuggly I will wear this one to bed and I've worn it a couple of times this week actually um so yeah uh all right the notes in this if my phone which is frozen wants to work oh dear hang on one sec my phone's frozen. Okay, it's got really simple notes listed for this and I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, but the uh, notes are musk, sandalwood and floral notes. And I think I really like sandalwood, so I can recognise that this is sandalwood heavy, but it's not, it's not a kind of woody sandalwood, if that makes any sense. It makes it slightly powdery and creamy and just soft and gentle and beautiful. And I just, I love this perfume. I can't, I can't sing its praises high enough. I think it's beautiful. I've got, a sh I nearly swore, I've got a shed load of uh, backups of it. Um, and I definitely, the, the cologne is okay. It's just okay. If you can't get the oil, it's okay. But if you can get the oil, 100% always get the oil. It's so much better. Right. Um, next one, Vesper Sensation. And this is such a nice perfume. I, I did a little review of this because this was from Direct Cosmetics and it cost me £2.50 and you can still get it. I think it's like... 30 mil is it yeah just check it 30 mil um and it's so nice it's just so it was really surprisingly comfortable to wear and I, i'll tell you why it was so surprising is because it's got a salty c note accord in it and as it turns out i'm realizing that i really struggle with salty notes so i mean that's you know 
Uh, I like them, but they don't like me. So, <laughs> but I'll just read the notes. So, uh, Vespa Sensacion is top notes of pear, lime, and lychee. Middle notes, sea notes, water lily, cinnamon. Base notes of peach, vanilla, and sandalwood. So again, you've got a peach and vanilla in here. So that was very dangerous ground for me. But I don't really find this particularly peachy. I, it does remind me, the vanilla in it is a little bit like the vanilla in the original Vespa, which I think I've talked about many times now um which is a bit like a kind of apple and lemony soft scoop ice creamy smell so this one has that same kind of ice creamy vanilla in the base that kind of quite synthetic and a bit cheap but the one i quite like um and then the the top notes are really quite dominant so i think you get a little bit of pear you get quite a lot of lime but it's really uh, and you definitely get some lychee but it's really nicely balanced by that vanilla and then you definitely get a salty c note but it's like a gentle salty c note it's really really nice this one it's so easy to wear it smells like a summer holiday it smells like a british summer holiday i know that vespa i think vespa's italian but to me this doesn't smell to me like an italian holiday this smells like a, a uk holiday and i really like it i really recommend it it's super super cheap and yeah, the uh, I'll go through at the end and talk about the lasting power of these. Um, so anyway, so then the next one I wore was the little H&M pear. <laughs> now, I like this perfume a lot. I think it's really tasty, but um, it lasts for like, it's, it's so fleeting, this one. So I really, I like it enough that I, that I bought a backup bottle. Um, just because I was like, okay, I know I'm going to have to, I mean, you can see I've already put quite a dent in this. And when you see the other one, I'm going to bring up, you'll see that there's quite a difference in how, th well, I think in how much I had to spray this throughout the day. Cause I wore this to work perfect bag size. So that it's fine. That it didn't last. And it was only four pounds 99. So fine. But, uh, compared to all the other ones I wore, this one was very, very weak, but I do really like it. I still feel the same that I did in the video. I think it smells like Haribo. I think it smells like, I mean, it's tasty, but I do think it smells like a pear flavoured sweet. And then it kind of, the more it dries down, the less tangy it gets, but it still retains that kind of slightly synthetic, but in a good way, pear flavoured candy kind of smell. Um, so I really, I really love it. I love it, but yeah, it's very fleeting. And then, okay, so this one, God, I went on a journey with this. I really did. Yeah, you can see you can see I had to spray this one considerably more than this. Um, I wore this to work as well. This came in my bag. I oh gosh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. <sighs> Where to start with the H and M Sunray? Oh my god. So H and M pair, really easy to wear. Very much in my wheelhouse. Nice and fruity, right? Sunray is exactly what I was looking for because it does actually on the skin smell very similar in many ways to the 4711 Eau de Cologne from the Aqua Colonia range which is called the Sunny Seaside of Zanzibar and I love that but it smells like antiseptic liquid on my skin there's something about the salt and the vanilla mixture with I think the star anise in that that really just goes fully fully antiseptic and it lasts in an anti antiseptic kind of smell for like an hour when I've tried it on my skin. So I had to give up on it. I've got it up on eBay. It's really heartbreaking because God, I love that perfume. I love sniffing it from the bottle. I just love it, but it my skin does not love it and it really ruins it. So Sunray, I was very excited about. Wore it to work and okay. So let me just tell you how it smells first. They don't list the notes. Um, but I did make my own notes. <laughs> so I definitely smell melon. When I first spray it on my skin, I get melon. It's probably watermelon because this is like a tropical. Um, but I can't say for sure, but I definitely get some kind of melon. I definitely get coconut. There's, it's definitely salty and there's definitely vanilla. I think it's got some kind of spice in it. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily say it was star and ace, but there's definitely something spicy and I'm going to put it out there and say it might be something like cardamom. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because this, when I first spray it on my skin, massively reminds me of my favourite Vera Wang Embrace perfume, which is the one that I think of as melon and marigold, but is actually called um, marigold and gardenia. Uh, 
And that one has a bunch of flowers, a lot of melon. It's creamy. There's not actually vanilla in it, but it's very creamy. Is there vanilla in it? Oh, I don't remember that. I don't think there's vanilla in it, but I think the gardenia makes it creamy. So I think there's probably, I would say maybe, maybe not gardenia, but probably tiari flower or something in this that's giving it that same vibe and that same smell. Um, there's loads of melon in um, the Vera Wang uh, perfume. And that one has cardamom in it. And that's why I'm wondering if this maybe is cardamom. It could be star anise because I do get maybe a two minute window where it's, it started to feel like it was going to go antiseptic and it was a bit mm, touch and go. But then it dried down and it was just lovely. And it dries down into smelling like a sun lotion, a suntan lotion, bit coconutty, really vanilla, -y, quite salty. I absolutely loved it. However, my God, it gave me a horrific headache. I sort of started getting a headache throughout the day. Let me just have a quick sip. I just love it. It smells like a summer holiday. And this one, this, this smells like a British summer holiday. This one smells like a, a Spanish or like, you know, Portuguese summer holiday to me. It's absolutely lovely. I love it. Actually, maybe it's not. Yeah, maybe it smells like a Lanzarote, like my favourite little beach down the bottom of Lanzarote. Um, it reminds me of the Malibu sun oil, which I really, really like. But anyway, I started getting a headache throughout the day and I was like, mm, is that perfume? Maybe I've just got a headache today. And then I was like, OK, I don't, I don't really know what's going on with this. So I I didn't continually respray re this. I resprayed it before I left home. And by the time I got home, I was like, oh, my, my head's actually quite bad. I think it might be the perfume. Took some tablets. And then my partner, um, randomly, he had a different vape juice. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I can't remember where it was. He got sent a free one when he bought some new heads for his vape. And it was some kind of like vanilla-y, caramel -y kind of smell something kind of sweet and it was a salty vanilla-y kind of smell it might have been salty caramel actually and I went to give him a kiss and he'd just blown out some of the vape and I just my head just felt like it was going to crack in two and I was like okay yeah there's something about that salty vanilla smell that's mega headache inducing for me certainly at this time of year and it's quite warm so I'm not getting a backup of this I am going to keep hold of this little bottle because I think I might try it in the winter um you know, maybe try it on a weekend just to see if it's still going to cause me problems. But I really, really like it. And I think looking at all the different things that just don't seem to work for me, I think that I really struggle with a really vanilla -y, salty smell. I think there's something about that kind of sea salt and vanilla smell that just doesn't really my 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 head and my skin doesn't seem to really like it even though I like the smell so it's a bit heartbreaking but anyway enough of that let's move on so a little aqua colonia and this one is pomegranate and eucalyptus so this is sadly a limited edition also very sadly it is now out of stock on the website i got it from which was perfume dreams but they do have this on amazon i saw it it's a bit more expensive i think it's like 23 pounds but oh my god it's so delicious and it's totally worth it oh i would happily pay 23 quid for that smell so this one is so lush again it's it's one of the aqua colonias that smells quite perfumey compared to the others some of them just smell really really naturalistic they've got that kind of fresh fruit juice smell about them this one, I think, smells a bit more like a perfume and it's got a real beautiful berry smell about it. It doesn't necessarily smell like real pomegranate, but I'll read you the notes because this one actually has notes. And I think some of the older ones, you do actually get notes for them. Um, so some of the old limited editions, they actually tell you what's in it. So the top notes of this are, well, pomegranate, middle notes, violet leaf and eucalyptus, base notes, musk and woody notes. And I think... I don't get much wood. The pomegranate, like I said, is quite a syrupy pomegranate. It's quite sweet. It's very feminine. It's real nice berry smell. It's not very bitter. And then I think, I think I probably can sense a bit of violet, but the eucalyptus is very much in the background. It's not a menthol kind of smell. It's just slightly, slightly herbal and it's musky. This is properly musky. It's so lush. I wore this on a hot day and it was great. 
Mmm, I really like it. I just love aqua colonias. And as I said, I've actually made a video about this one and another one I have. And I, I have basically a notification out on eBay for if any um uh 4711 aqua colonias come up. And then if I can get hold of it, then I will buy it because the limited edition ones obviously are really hard to find. So if it's not an exceptionally stupid price for it, then I will buy it. This one, however, I got from, I think, Parfum Dreams and it was just like a regular, I think it was maybe £16. So anyway, I love it. And then I don't need to talk about this one much because I wear it all the time and I wore Katy Perry's Indie. Now, the, the reason I wore this one actually, I mean, apart from the fact that I wear it all the time because I love it, I wanted to try it out because I just got a little sample pack of Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes and I'm actually gonna as soon as I finish this video I am going to record the video for that sample pack now in there part of the reason I wanted it was to smell crush um, so SJP crush which is basically coconut white flowers and vanilla and I just wanted to know what it smelled like and it smells like heaven. However, it does also smell quite a lot like Katy Perry Indie. Well, at least it smells how I smell Katy Perry's Indie and how Katy Perry's Indie smells on my skin, which is it smells like a sweet coconut cream. This to me smells like creamy coconut and uh, tonka bean. But in, well, although I have to say, I definitely get way more of the wood, the sort of slightly cedary woody smell in very hot weather, but it's not like woody in a way that bothers me because it's still very coconutty to my nose even though there's no coconut apparently in it which I still think might be a mistake but anyway so the official notes in oh excuse me in Katy Perry's Indie are top notes of plum white tea bergamot middle notes of white cedar extra lily of the valley and cyclamen base notes musk white musk black musk egyptian musk island musk tonka bean and amber so I I just wanted to wear it and see whether I still wanted to get a bottle of the SJP one. And I think, even though I do think they smell incredibly similar, I think because this one is just so musky and different people smell it in a different way, I feel like maybe I might just get that other one anyway because it does have a... It's similar, but it has, it's got a vanilla sweetness and there's just something about that perfume that's so perfect. When I first sprayed it, I was like... It's like a weird, slightly dirty smell about this. I'm not sure about that. Reminds me of coconut water. And then it turns into actual coconut flesh, like creamy coconut flesh, like fresh, just cracked open. So it is almost like cracking open a fresh coconut, getting the, the water on your skin. And I do always think coconut water has a slightly dirty taste and like earthy, I should say, maybe taste and smell. And then biting into that delicious creamy coconut flesh and then there's this this beautiful and it's that custardy kind of vanilla that I like that kind of edible but not too strong vanilla it's so good anyway so I'm thinking I'm probably going to get it anyway um but yeah I've been talking for ages let me go Katy Perry's Indie lasts ages on me um this one lasts I mean again like I'm, I can put it on at half eight in the morning I can be at work all day and then I can respray it before I leave. So, I mean, it, it lasts at least eight hours on my skin and it lasts really long clothes. The pomegranate and eucalyptus one, maybe you're going to get like three hours, three good hours out of it before you want to respray it. The Sunray one actually lasts pretty well. This one, I'd say maybe for a 4 99 perfume, I think that one's maybe like four hours. Um, it does get quite skin scenty, but I think all I think these generally are supposed to be skin scents. That's why I like them. The pair, honestly, it's like an hour if you're lucky. Like it, it, it's very fleeting. You will have to respray that constantly, but it's a super fun smell, and it's so cheap. I don't really mind. Sensation lasts quite well for like again. It cost me two pound fifty. I think that one's maybe like a four hours, maybe not too bad. Um, if someone asked me if these were uh, like for eau de toilettes or. I'm just going to have to check these now. Yeah, Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Cologne. Is this Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum? <laughs> eau de Parfum. That's why that's got such a good lasting power. It's Eau de Parfum. Skin Mask it is... Um, 
if I put this on in the evening before I go to bed, I can still smell it when I get up in the morning. The perfume oil lasts incredibly well. It is absolutely a skin scent. That's the point of it. Not everyone else is going to smell it, but I can still smell it. If you get, if you like, I mean, I don't really wear anything to bed, to be honest, but uh, if it's very wintry and I wear this one and I get it anywhere on like the neck of my PJs or whatever, you can smell it forever. Like it's so, it's brilliant. This one actually lasted quite well. Um, uh, let's have a look at this one. What is this? Oh, Eau de Parfum again. That's why. Quite a good lasting power on this guy. I think that was maybe... Hmm, maybe five or six hours on that one. So not not quite as strong as Katy Perry. But I think that's just because there's so much musk in the in, in Indie. Like, that just lasts forever because it's just pure... It's almost entirely musk. Um... Yeah, so that one was pretty good. This one, I think, is an eau de toilette. Yep, that's an eau de toilette. And it is, lasting power-wise, maybe four hours. So not so considerably better than normal Yardley's, honestly. But not great because, you know, it's just a Yardley eau de toilette. But again, like, that was super cheap as well. So, yeah, um, a real bargain uh, week this week. But, yeah, I really... I like them all. I think they're all great. The only one that I'm not sure I'm going to keep is Yardley. And sadly, Sunray gave me a headache, but I still love it. If you don't have a problem with salty vanilla perfumes, I massively recommend Sunray. It lasted way better than Pear, and it's such a beautiful holiday smell. So, so good. Oh, 